Yeah. Hello viewers and welcome to my new video. Today I'm in a in a bit of an unusual setting and we're, I'm with a very very special guest. Oh, thank you. Who is Eric Crafton. Oh, <laughs> no, no, I'm, no, I'm no, joking. No. no, it's uh, it's actually my uncle Jacek who interestingly enough actually gave him the first ever guitar that, <laughs> I, that I owned in my life yeah. which, which was a sort of old acoustic guitar that I tried to learn my initial chords and that's why it was uh, in the past century <laughs> <laughs> it was in the, it was in the past century that's yeah. right yeah so first and foremost i just wanted to say you are a guitarist yourself you obviously you also compose you write some music by yourself and release some music right yeah exactly so you you, you can find it on the spotify for example yeah, or, yeah, or yeah. youtube it's only one uh, disc let's say Mm, but I'm working on the second one. <laughs> it's only uh, because I'm I'm not a poet, you know. So I'm I'm writing only uh, only music. But I will try. Maybe I will uh, do some poetry as well. <laughs> yeah. For s so it will be a full uh, song. If you could tell me how your music journey started, you could just go back to the beginning and sort of. Oh. I can't remember exactly. <laughs> it was very long time ago, you know. But I remember the first impression I I've got uh, in the elementary school. Uh, I first hear heard the the Beatles. Mm. It was hard hardest night this number, yeah. and mm, I can't stop hearing it. Uh, and it was my first uh, impression of the modern music. I, I know now it's old music, but uh, in this 60s, because I'm, I'm talking about uh, late 60s or er early 70s, uh, uh, it was uh, in this time very modern. And it was my first uh, connection with with the uh, let's say western music uh, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, because but it was in Poland right? uh, in yeah, Poland yeah. Uh, <coughs> now we, we have uh, access to this music uh, through the radio stations mm -hmm. so uh, we, we will uh, we, we have uh, uh, our uh, information just on time uh, regarding music pop music so uh, my first idols, let's say, it was Led Zeppelin, Deep Purple, Black Sabbath, you know, Budgie. Uh, f uh, by the way, I've, I've been on four concerts of Budgie in Poland. Okay, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, so, f you know, uh, and in uh, when I was I, 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 16 years old, I asked my parents to buy me or uh, in 13, let's say, 13, it's close to the throat. Uh, I asked them to buy me a guitar, which you own it's <laughs> now. Not the, it's not the same guitar. Yeah, the same guitar. And I'm I just starting to learn these uh, chords, you know, uh, and uh, try to, to play. But the problem was that this guitar was unplayable. Yes, <laughs> <laughs> I know that very uh, well, exactly. So yeah, I, yeah. Uh, the, you know, it's, my hand was full of blood and blisters. <laughs> uh, yes. But uh, I'm started to, to, to play, let's say. Uh, so it's, uh, the lesson from this is never to buy um, uh, Worst guitar. Just if you want to learn something on 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 the instrument, you have to buy good instrument mm -hmm. to yeah. have a. Uh, because if you have no, you know, st so strong uh, um, impulse to to make uh, to play the instrument, mm -hmm. if you have. Uh, bad instrument, you 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 will stop. It's uh, very probable. That it it and uh, this was my my first steps on music. Now I'm 
mostly jazzy yeah. guy than than uh, earlier and I like of course this classical music as well uh, why this is uh, this simple because if you um, listen to the pop music uh, you know what what will happen in the next moment yes but it's if predi predictable yeah exactly mm -hmm. but if you uh, especially in jazz of, of course it has a frame as well but uh, but the truth is that is uh, less predictable mm -hmm. so uh, is and then it's most interesting for me yeah, of yeah. course no, uh, and and this music is uh, a little bit too difficult to play maybe not a little bit but you have to have a jazzy feeling so i'm trying to play uh, on guitar especially uh, jazz but uh, so, so far not uh, successful <laughs> in okay. this way okay uh. so you've already answered that question but, right. but the question was what was the first artist that you've ever heard and was it actually the beatles is that is that <clears throat> is that true or was it some, something else you know, I can't remember exactly uh, because the Beatles I've, I've, I've heard about 65, 66 year, mm -hmm. so it's almost 60 years ago. Yeah. Yeah. But uh, uh, earlier it should be some music from the radio, but it, I can't remember. I remember I remember I remember very well Louis Armstrong and Wonderful World. Okay, uh, yeah. But uh, I can't mm, uh, locate it in the time when it was, I don't know. But I remember this song, of course, now I know this song, wh what does it mean and I understand the text. Oh, I, I, I have to say that I didn't understand uh, in this time English language. Right, yeah. in the 60s. Yeah. In the si yeah. Because I started to learn in, in the late 60s in school. Yeah. And uh, I didn't know what the, they uh, singing about. Mm -hmm. I don't know, now, Hard Day's Night is awful text. <laughs> in this, this misogyn text, you know, the, I don't know yeah. it's a good word, misogyn. Misogynist. Misogynist, Misogynist. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, um, yeah. And... And for today is unacceptable, yeah, <laughs> uh, yeah. but uh, at this time I didn't know, and it was uh, there was there were different times, you know. So uh, now we are m most proper yeah. <laughs> people the, regarding uh, 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 woman. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So actually, this next question is. Uh, is about the Beatles because no. I know I know you, you're a huge fan of yeah, the Beatles. Yeah. I know I'm about them. Since, since, I've ever, <laughs> since I've ever met you, and, and you know, and, and I know there's always been the Beatles kind of like present mm -hmm. in your sphere of musical mm -hmm. interest. Yeah. And if you could just tell me a little bit more about that, like wh why the Beatles and and like sort of what drew you to them yeah. in the first place. As I said, it, it was in the sixties when I heard of them first time. My son was told uh, when he was a child that I'm one of the Beatles because I'm playing <laughs> Beatles <laughs> yeah. music yeah. on the guitar. He, 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 thought, he told me it um, uh, when he was a uh, uh, grow man yeah, that, that uh, he, thought, he, he thought that I'm I'm, uh, I'm one of the Beatles. <laughs> All right, okay. Did he really? Like when he yeah. was really little, you mean? Oh, yeah, 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 very little, very small, <laughs> yeah. uh, little guy. Mm -hmm. yeah, but uh, why? You know, uh, they, they've, you know, they've got, uh, they, they were, were very talented guys. Their music uh, was uh, very melodic mm -hmm. and it moving me. And uh, uh, after uh, sometimes they 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 growing and they change their their music uh, and uh, they their poetry especially Lennon's poetry mm -hmm. was absolutely uh, perfect but for me most important was their 
music, their collaboration and their mm, symbiotic in voices. Right. I don't know. Harmonies. Harmonies. The harmonies. Yeah. Well, you know, this is uh, mm, not so easy music as somebody uh, as 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 a thing because if you know something about music theory, theory you can find a, a, a lot of taste of the of the approach to the music. Mm -hmm. I don't know from wh who they they know. I I suppose from George Martin, the producer, because he was a, a educated musician. Uh, but the approach to the harmony was incredible mm -hmm. in this time. Uh, and they, you know, I just love their, their yeah. music, their tunes. Yeah. You know. What's your favorite Beatles song? Oh, I can't <laughs> oh, is tell. Is this the one? Yeah, no, no, I can't tell you because I, I, it's a lot of, of these songs uh, which I love. Uh, it's very difficult to say to me. But, Mm. I can't. I can't yeah, answer too, this too question <laughs> well, yeah, because fine. because there yeah. is no uh, song which is most uh, favorable for me. Yeah. No. Maybe maybe uh, maybe um, album, white album, let's say, oh, or no. Abbey Road album, but not simple song. Tell me about your own guitar playing. Oh. And what inspired you in the first place to actually pick up an instrument and sort of start? Because, sort of, of course, listening to the music is one thing, mm -hmm. but actually playing it is another Yeah, uh, that's, you know, as, uh, if you started to play, you, you're just learning the chords. Mm -hmm. you know? Yeah. No, without understanding what does it mean C, C major or A, A minor <laughs> because yeah. you don't know no, the no, music no. theory you know the shape of, of, of the chord that's it and obviously you wish to play and sing a song which you love in my case I'm just uh, destroy some of Beatles music <laughs> in my... No, I, wouldn't, in I wouldn't say that, but I actually remember you, I think when I was a kid, you mm -hmm. know, and I would come to see you, um, and I think you had the guitar there, and I, I think I actually remember you maybe playing something like, uh, I think there was a song by George Harrison that you may, may be uh, trying to think Here about. Here comes the song. Oh. Yes, yes. Oh, and, I st and stuff yeah. like that. And Still, I'm so playing I, it. So I, yeah, exactly. Yeah, it's, so it's quite complicated to be known as for guitarist. Uh, uh, very smart uh, and uh, have a change of of te tempo in, in, in inside. That very yeah. nice music, but uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm 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 I have a, a lot of. Uh, exercises to, to 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 do it properly. <laughs> yeah, no, I can't uh, imagine. Yeah. Mm. And so, so was that was the a connection between the beat? Because of course you loved the Beatles, mm. but then you played guitar. And what was this? Is why I'm starting to play <laughs> because right. I love the Beatles. Right. So, so <laughs> and this yeah. is the the same when I'm starting to learn English because I wish to to understand what they are uh, singing about. Yes. You know? yeah, so. Yeah. so no so I'm, I'm 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 just really uh, grateful for them. <laughs> no, that's good. Yeah. For, for for a lot of things, to be honest. Yeah, and and what uh, so at the time or even now, the majority of the songs that you learned by other people was was that by the Beatles, like mostly Beatles songs, or did or have you learned like yeah. some other songs as well, some other artists? No, you know, it's now it's uh, sometimes I'm just making some exercises of the Beatles, but. Uh, now I'm I'm just composing music, yeah. so I'm trying to do my own stuff, mm, and uh, you know I, I even don't want don't uh, listen to the Beatles music because this music is inside me. Mm. So if you are, I wish to 
uh, hear something to yeah. <laughs> just just I'm hearing without listening you know? yes, of course. Uh, yeah, yeah. because I know almost every every single uh, song uh, from A to Z, Z. <laughs> no. Uh, uh, sometimes I'm learning w when the song is interesting for me, mm -hmm. so I'm learning to how to play and sing it. Uh, especially if uh, I'm, I'm uh, I've made some of covers of songs, uh, but <coughs> mostly instrumental covers. Mm -hmm of songs which are talking about passing away, about uh, uh, death, you know, okay. of the, 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 those kind of things. But I'm, I'm not uh, so, <coughs> you know, <laughs> uh, uh, without energy to, li to live. But, uh, you know, it's a very interesting uh, approach to the feelings about uh, how time is going by about yeah. uh, you know this problem of of uh, living uh, you know life living your yeah. everything so it's why I'm done it <laughs> how, how interesting is that though that you mentioned that it's kind, it's kind of an interesting uh, subject in itself. Yeah, it's very it? interesting. Uh, so do you release this, these covers actually? Or no, I, 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 can, I, can, I oh, don't, do I don't oh. because it, it, it is problem of the law, you know. Yeah, uh, yeah. I don't want to break law. Yes, yes. Uh, By the way, I, I, we, we can probably talk, maybe not in this interview, or I can yeah. probably tell you how, how you can do no, it. It will be very interesting for yeah. me because so there are uh, quite... Uh, as, group of songs which are which are very sad but uh, but um, about things which we are all involved in tell me this this question is about your own music okay so mm. if, you, if you could tell me more about what you've already released what you're working on right now and you know what kind of style you kind of find yourself comfortable in and it's very eclectic you know because on, on my first let's say disc uh, I just put the songs I earlier 10 years or 15 years ago I've uh, composed uh, but uh, now I'm trying to learn on, on piano Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, I'm trying to compose on on piano, which is, uh, as I discovered, uh, easier than on guitar, <laughs> because on uh, on piano you've got everything clear. Yeah, it's, Every, it's everything all is in clear. front of you, yeah, isn't it? Yeah, everything yeah. is clear, and you know where I, where are you exactly. But you know, <coughs> I'm just uh, taking guitar sometimes. And I, I'm, if I, in in mood, I'm, I'm just uh, playing some chords because I, my my way of composing is uh, first are uh, is I'm mm, construct harmony mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and then melody to this. Okay. Uh, and I'm strumming uh, just you know some some chords and then I'm making a melody or riffs for these uh, things. So it is my way of... of, okay. of so, the, so the chords come first for you and then, 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 exactly. then you add the melody, then you, da, make, da, you add the da, riff da. on top yeah, of it. Yeah, you. exactly, ta in this way, in this way. So it's... And to be honest, I'm, I'm discover some uh, music theory about how how to put the chords uh, about how to approach to the harmony and this is very helpful mm -hmm. to how to compose and how to compose melody to the chords it's you know music is uh, has a rules like a math yeah, exactly that's true, yeah. so yeah. Uh, 
Uh, obviously, you can <laughs> play free jazz, for example, which <laughs> for me is just, you know, jazz, nothing else. But uh, not music, only jazz, if I understand good this, uh, this word in English. Uh, not jazz music, only, you know. Yeah. Just noise. Noise, noise. Yeah, no. like sort of cha chaotic kind of way of yeah, playing. Chaotic, yeah, chaotic, you know, exactly. I just, I've made one uh, just chaotic, but and even I can't hear it, <laughs> I guess. <laughs> because it's not a music, it's uh, just uh, noise, as you said. No. Uh, I'm trying to do some songs, but uh, I've got a problem with the remember exactly words. You know, I, I have to add... Yeah. In, in in front of me text to to sing okay. uh, and about writing uh, for me it's most interesting to um, to um, write music than words uh -huh. and uh, okay. sometimes uh, uh, lately I, I try to use chat GPT to write <laughs> words but yeah. It was so stupid uh, <laughs> effect, and, uh, you know. Yeah. But I'm, I'm, I've made some of mm -hmm. poetry, which is quite good for. I think about this as a, as a good, but I never try to uh, write music to the words. But uh, in the opposite, I try to write words to the music which yes, I ever, yes. uh, so which is similar to me yeah. like I used to do a bit of both but I cu currently That's I do mostly like you do first day I write music then the words uh, exactly after, yeah. so but maybe maybe you know because if I'm trying to make music to the words it, it the music is very simple or, or stupid <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. and uh, unacceptable okay. for me. So, so what I've heard from, from some of your tracks when I listen to the tracks, there's, there's a bit of a blues in them, there's some jazz, there's, yeah. some, there's some sort of crossover. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Some of your very eclectic, yeah, yeah, so and everything in one. <laughs> one of your, one of your mo most recent tracks that you sent me, and I know it's not yet released, well, but it's, it's, it's quite it's melancholic, isn't it? It's this is a sketch. Yeah, and you started using, like you said, a lot of piano on the yeah. yeah, like a kind yeah. of piano melody. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's, uh, I'm just working on this because <coughs> I'm, I'm trying to do um, some orchest orchestration mm -hmm. uh, using the uh, available free free plugins. Yes. Uh, okay. BBC Orchestra. Yeah. So yeah. It's uh, very nice. Uh, but yeah, I'm starting to uh, play the standing, the standing chords, chords, mm -hmm. and then uh, melody to this, and on the end it's quite nice melody. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, f uh, some I'm trying to do something with this. Uh, it's called make a uh, music from scratch. <laughs> right. <laughs> and yeah. So I'm trying to do yeah. it. Well, it's really interesting because one of the songs that you, you played to me as well was I kind of ha had like a really cool beat as well, like the you know the, the rhythm section, mm -hmm. bass and drums, yeah. And then you had some piano going, and I think there was like a saxophone as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, exactly. It's um, about uh, storming in uh, in a country. Right. <laughs> this yeah, and the saxophone. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So I'm 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 doing now mostly on uh, uh, computer MIDI uh, files than on guitar mm -hmm. but it's like a mix like a mix because I'm trying to do some MIDI music and add uh, just analog instruments to this right yeah so I'm, I'm playing everything yes mm, that's, interesting. that's interesting so 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 you've got one record out out there yeah, at yeah. the moment which is available on streaming platform yeah, exactly and then you're working on the second one oh. at the moment is that's is that well, a little bit too lazy <laughs> but <laughs> yeah. but uh, yeah it must be something interesting you know i i've got uh, under my skin some uh, some uh, old and fresh music which is uh, 
this old one hasn't been used for the first disc but maybe uh, it will be um, uh, issued in the uh, near one but uh, you know it's about 10 10 maybe yeah 10 songs um, 10, yeah. 10 no, not songs but uh, also, yeah. uh, but because there is no words for this now my my first disc is on, on first album is only only uh, instrumental music there is no words for, for this so uh, yeah i'm trying I, i'm thinking about discovers as i as i told you mm -hmm. uh, is to issue this i don't know if it is interesting for listeners to hear uh, somebody who is doing covers it's like you know um, or you, you if you have a choice to to listen to original mm -hmm. and the cover i always ch choosing or um, original music. yes yeah very rare yes. you are uh, the the cover is best i agree it's better I agree. You know. it's very rare but sometimes it happens mm -hmm. for example it's a, a cover of uh, harry nilsson without you this song was uh, early Mm -hmm. uh, issued by Pat Finger, and nobody saw this uh, song as a, you know, good. Mm -hmm. But Harry Wilson made this huge, you know, mm -hmm. uh, song. Everybody knows <laughs> yeah. this melody. Uh, it was as, uh, uh, with the uh, Ringo Starr song saying, uh, "With the little help." Uh, from my friends, okay. and yes. Joe Cocker That's right, made yeah. it yes, yes. And all that song, much yeah. better. Yeah, you know. yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's yeah. his think, song. Think, now think, it's yeah. this is his song. Not yeah, yeah. It's like all along the Watchtower, like the yeah. Jimi Hendrix of uh, probably yeah. made better than what Bob Dylan's yeah, version exactly, was. Exactly. You know, uh, let's say uh, maybe, but uh, f f uh, as as well, Bob Dylan song uh, uh, knocking to heaven's door oh yeah 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 guns and roses make cover That's but right. for me it's worse to cover than yes yeah. than the original song yeah, yeah, yeah. because you know this song is about uh, death yes and they they've made it as I don't know what this is. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, I, yeah. I, I without agree. without feeling. I know. agree with you. Yeah, yeah. It's, they just performed it, but there's uh, no uh, like no meaning behind. Just it. just performing. And mm. I I suppose they don't they don't understand what this song is about. Yeah, <laughs> probably not. Especially they were they were quite young at the time when they made yeah, it as well. Yeah, I suppose. Yeah. yeah. So, so but so so your songs are quite deep. They have like quite a deep meaning behind them would you say like to sort of in, in a way or yeah 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 so so exactly. so your audience what would you describe as your audience would you would you say that there were people who were quite like to kind of have that kind of level of deep emotional kind of connection with yes. music maybe, i don't know if i have an audience <laughs> it's uh, just some of of people from some of friends uh, and uh, they are listening to, listening to my music, and they said, "Oh, it's nice to hear. It's very, very, very nice music." And this is a, yeah. <laughs> everything, you know. Yeah, this is what you got well, yeah, from them. Yeah. Yeah, but I don't care, to be honest, yeah, because you, I'm doing yeah. it for for, for myself. Yeah, you know? yeah. So it's, yeah, I, I don't, I, I, I <laughs> don't suppose that I will make a money on my music. Or, or you know, have a huge, um, you know, uh, I don't know, it's a huge uh, like a number one hit, number one hit or huge <laughs> yeah. hit. Yeah. Uh, maybe it, somebody you know will use my music for for uh, for film. I don't know for mm -hmm. instru as illustration that is a good, music. That is a good way of thinking, you know, because actually that <laughs> is, <you> know, <laughs> instrumental music, especially Brilliant. the orchestral yeah, kind of yeah, arrangement yeah. that you were t we were talking about, yeah. that can lend itself to being used. But maybe somebody in film must to to see it. You yeah, know, yeah. I don't know how to 
how to uh, make it possible. Yes. So. Well, something we could, we can talk about oh, again yes. outside but of the outside of the interview yeah, because exactly. it's not really the purpose of this. Yeah. yeah. All right. So so okay. So uh, so you, how can people find you? Is it Jacek Kucharski? I'm going that's to obviously le leave all the links in the yeah, in the description. Yeah, Grey Belt is an uh, English word which I. Uh, is my discover gray you know it's a gray uh, yes. bolt is a <laughs> right. uh, you know this uh, head without without uh, hair yeah. <laughs> so gray bolt <laughs> i'm gray bolt <laughs> <laughs> okay it's okay. my you know, discover <laughs> yeah okay now that's great so but again like i say i'm gonna leave all the links to, to yeah. your to your yeah. music in the description so people you know, if they are interested, they can it's find you. It's published, so you, you exactly. can do yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah. Okay, that's great. Mm. Well, thanks. Thank you very much for the interview. Welcome. <laughs> it was very nice to do it. <laughs>